guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you for joining me for this video as you can see from today's title we're going to be reviewing the refi 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 products hold on i've dropped them so these products were not gifted i did purchase these from selfridges i've been um and ah about this for ages and then i saw a few videos of people doing like the brow videos and i was just sold because you know your girl loves fluffy brow so I picked up the cream blush the cream bronzer the brow pencil and the brow sculpt so if you want to see what my thoughts are trying this out I will do obviously an Instagram video as well then please keep on watching so I currently just have on the the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I did purchase this also from Selfridges I think I should have got a darker shade personally but it doesn't look too bad anyway so we're just going to go straight into it I actually like how this feels on the skin I don't want to wear foundation today I will pop on some concealer in just a minute but we're going to start off with brows so so I'm going to go through and give you a little bit of information on each. So this is the brow sculpt that we have here. If I just show you what it looks like, that's the brow sculpt. I think this was, you have 8.5 milliliters of product in this. It retails for £16. I think you can get like the brow set for 40 but I didn't want the, the third product. So um, it comes in the shade Clear. It's uh, suitable for all skin types, vegan and cruelty free. So it doesn't have much on here other than I'm guessing it's just supposed to sculpt your brows if I open this up. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm hoping I love this because I've literally seen everyone and their mums rave about this product. So I'm very, very excited to, to try this out. But we also have the brow pencil, which was, I believe, £14. Yep, yeah, it comes with 0 0.06 grams of product, my bad. Um, which doesn't seem like a lot, but let's hope we can work with it. So I got this in the shade medium, because medium did look kind of dark. Um, I didn't want to get the darkest shade. Can't get this out, can never get these out. Um, that's what the brow pencil looks like. The packaging is very my vibe, I love it. Very, very thin, I'd love to travel with this, but I hope it wouldn't break. Obviously comes with a spoolie on the other side, which I don't think I'm going to use once I've sculpted my brows. But yeah, that's what the applicator tip is looking like so we've got to love that hopefully this is going to be creamy and um, so we're just going to go ahead and go straight into the brows i'm going to zoom you up close and personal so you guys can have a look at how this works so that is currently what my brows are looking like they look a complete mess to be completely honest with you that's just what they look like um so we have the actual product here that is what the product looks like so we're going to go in i'm just going to grab my little elf mirror and we're just going to take this on my brows as so i have heard nothing but good things about this product so i'm hoping it comes off white but it doesn't it sort of lays on the brow slightly white but it doesn't um sort of blends am i applying too much am i applying too much let me just take the excess off and then work with what i've got on the brush let's see So from first impressions, I really, really like the um, the brush. The brush is very nice. I think I've picked up way too much product. So I'm just going to keep working this into the brow. I thought this was going to go ever so slightly clear, but I don't think it is. Um, so that's what we're looking like so far. Now for me, personally, pear soap does it all the time, so... Let's just see. I'm just going to take the excess off because this does have a lot of excess product. It doesn't have too much of a sticky formula, but it does have a grip to it. I can sort of sense the grip, but it's not as what it looks like in the other videos I've seen. I don't know if you can see all that white gathering of product. I'm hoping it doesn't stick down to the, uh, my uh, skin because sometimes what that does is then when you apply foundation, it sort of dries out and goes all crusty. So that's just what the brows are looking like currently. Obviously a mess. You take this off the top and it has this sort of brow brush going on which is really really cute so far there's a lot of excess product so now i'm starting to lay the brow hairs sort of down but it has like this crumbling effect i don't know what it is if i left that too long I don't know if you can see on the brow there's slight crumbles. Don't know. You guys can see the crumbles. I don't know what that is. Anyways, so now I'm just going to go and flatten with this side of the brush. And sort of sculpt. 
brows out like that i'm gonna need a baby wipe because i know that's just gonna be a lot of residue excess product okay so best advice do this before you put on any sort of face because i've taken i've had to take a part of it off around my brows just because it is gem it does like sort of stick and then it's quite hard to take off but obviously it comes off with a baby wipe so far like honestly i'm not amazed by it like i think because i use my pair of soap which is like less than a pound i just use that but it's nice i do i would recommend it i'm just not amazed by it i think for me i think a lot of people have overhyped it but i guess it works different for different brow hairs because my brow hairs are very 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 stubborn so i'll just show you how it actually looks up close and personal it doesn't look too bad personally it does not look too bad at all so we are going to now use the brow pencil it does have this little sign at the back saying do not twist up more than two millimeters that's fine start just filling it in as usual so first impressions this is what the brows are looking like may i just say this pencil is great really gives you that fine little strokes i think what you're going to get from this product is you're going to get that spiky fluffy effect just like this rather than that really sculpted because i usually go for a really sculpt sorry my nails are not done i'm getting them done in a little while but that really sculpted effect but i actually quite like this i love this brow I never ever love this brow so the fact that our products made me love my brow that I don't actually like is great. I'm going to go in and use my concealer and then powder slightly under my eyes and then we're going to go in with the bronzer and the blush. Okay so moving on we now have the Refi um, bronzer. This is the cream bronzer. I got the shade Sand. This was £18. Pricing I don't think is too bad. It could be a little bit cheaper. It can always be a little bit cheaper but I think it's actually a really really nice price. Um, 8.3 grams of product. It is plastic so it's not too bad obviously it's not a powder compact so it's not likely to break um vegan cruelty free again there's not too much information on this to be honest it comes in three shades i wish there were more but we can try and work with it anyway i think my lighting is actually not doing me justice today but we can work with it so yeah like i said if i just open this up for you you do get a decent amount of product i think decent amount of product i hope the shade will be not too bad i don't really like too overpowered bronzes these days so we're just going to work with what we have and the brush i'm going to use is the pc16 from peaches and cream so i'm just going to take some on my brush so and then it's going to work it into the skin now this might be ever so slightly too light for me just because it does look darker in the pan actually no this is like going to be i think a really subtle bronze which is actually kind of sexy i think like i think it's going to give you that like really subtle bronze feel but like sort of if it's your natural skin coming through do you know what i mean um it looks better on my phone i'm currently filming on my phone as well but the lighting here just is not it personally it's just not it but oh well i wish we could work better with this but we can't for now so you're just gonna have to put up with this kind of lighting but you can probably see better from afar i think possibly Now it's not insanely pigmented, I kind of like that, it's not like I'm going in quite a lot and I'm not having trouble and it's blending like an absolute dream, I think anyway, blending really really lovely, it's not giving me that like dewy separating underneath kind of feel but it's definitely really really nice this side has picked up really really well i'll show you in the lighting also once i'm finished so you guys can get a feel i am looking in my phone just so it's a little bit easier because the camera picks up the lighting a little bit better but it's not the most insanely pigmented thing I won't lie to you but if you're into like your everyday kind of glows then this would be very very nice so we're going to move on to the blush so far i think oh i can't really tell which is my favorite product i think it might be the bronzer i think it might be the bronzer so we have the blush now the blush i'm not gonna lie to you i was like it's tiny it's absolutely tiny but it's 14 pounds i believe or 16 14 pounds and you get 1.5 grams of product which oh there we go you can see the bronzer a little bit better there i got the shade citrine did i yeah citrine i was very very hesitant on what shade to get but i went ahead and got the orangey shade because your girl loves a little bit of peachy orangeness now this is really small it's, again i'm going in with a peaches and cream pc04 brush a great brush so let's see how this goes on the skin this looks like it picks up a little bit better look at that shade though stunning and we're just going to go in on the skin okay automatically automatically it's my favorite i've literally just applied this and i can see it on my phone camera 
is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness oh my goodness get on my skin again it's not the most insanely pigmented but it just looks like a natural flush of color it's stunning definitely picked up the right shade for me definitely this just looks gorgeous on the skin i think it doesn't look like too creamy you knowing creamies like creamy products just don't work great on like powdered skin and whatnot but this looks lovely my face just looks very blurred today don't know what's going on because i've having very bad skin problems but yeah that's just how it's looking i will show you up close and personal in a moment when all my makeup is done but that blush is absolutely gorgeous that citron shade stunning again like i said it's not the most pigmented but it just gives you that right amount for your daily. I don't think if you was to go on a night out, I'd say wear this because it just looked very, very like minimal. But this is very cute, very cute. I think if you want to get darker shades, then you'll probably get more of like a out there. But this is very cute. Very, very, very cute. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the rest of my face off of camera. And then I'm going to come back to you guys. So I thought I'd do a change of scenery. My makeup is all done. I actually love how it looks. Look at that. It's just that's just all of the products from obviously refi that we had going on the face um i didn't want to do anything too much for my lips today because i am going out to just get my nails done um but i really really like it i generally am really impressed um i know i was gonna like it anyway but i didn't know i was gonna like it that much but um yeah brows i actually think look really really nice my skin just looks really smooth today um the bronzer is a must the blush also um i actually just really liked all of them i don't think they're like omg but they're very very nice and i think for a new brand as well they have aced it so yeah would i say recommend i think for the pricing as well like you could probably get cheaper products but i actually like how my skin's turned out here like very much so so yeah, i'm just bringing up close and personal so you can actually see like proper up close on my skin that's all looking obviously i don't ever use filters in that so i love it it's not like majorly like out there in terms of it's not like super bronze or whatnot but then you get that sun kiss sort of like summery this would look so good in the winter as well because your skin just looks like it's just been untouched and you're forever getting like the sun I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts sorry can you can see my fridge in the background but yeah let me know your thoughts let me know what you guys think i really really hope you enjoyed this video once again yep refi killed it here love it um so yeah let me know what your thoughts are do you like how this look came out um i'll be definitely using this on my instagram so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you uh -huh. thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video